Yo, what's good, YouTube? Welcome back, man. We got some more Apex Legends content for y'all. And uh, it's just a Seer character trailer. You know what I'm saying? We just gonna see his abilities, learn everything that we need to know about him, and, and that's gonna be it until Tuesday. So I don't wanna take too long with the intro and be long-winded. So you guys already know the deal, man. If you guys are new here and you enjoy this content, go ahead and sub to the channel, man. Turn that notification bell on so you never miss another one of your boys' videos going up. And also like and share the video because we're about to go ahead and give him real ratings. And if you guys care for my opinion on Seer because it's a lot of controversy on him right now, stay tuned to the end and we'll talk a little bit more about it. But until then, let's go ahead and get into this video. A bad omen cast a dark shadow over Obi's birth. But through love, he emerged as the champion of the outcast. He is Seer. Stand out or stand aside. An artist and visionary, he sees what others do not. We will give him a show like no other. With his ability to sense the heartbeats of those around him, Seer stalks his enemies like a graceful predator. Oh, it shows you even on the damn... Okay. Your heart must beat with passion. To the very end. He can summon micro drones from his heart chamber to emit a delayed blast, interrupting and revealing enemies. I do my best work with a captive audience. Oh, it does. Now is the time for in that shield. Okay. And no one can hide from Seer's ultimate display. Ooh, we, your aim. <laughs> when deployed, his heart chamber casts a micro drone net over an area. Do not hide your true colors. They are your strength. Revealing the location of enemies moving heavily within it. Take comfort. Welcome back, Prowler. You could not have prepared for me. Like moths to a flame, Seer's grand performance may lead to your demise. But take comfort that your passing will be breathtaking. Your heart cried out for this. Do not blink, legend. You do not want to miss this. So... First off, respawn. That was the trailer. I feel like should have came out with the last one. Like it, the last one was all about Bloodhound. This one, this was how you supposed to do it. But I knew y'all was low key gonna do this when you was revealing his abilities, cause that's kind of how you guys have been doing it for the past three legends now, if I'm not mistaken. But real quick before we get into my thoughts and opinions on on Seer and everything, let's go back to his passive. The little heartbeat, first off, y'all, sorry for the damn subtitles. I'm sorry, but hey, you know, you got to read uh, the passive shit. Now, I know they said that you could hear the heartbeat and that was going to kind of play a, a big role because that's very different from any other legend. The fact that you'll be able to hear someone's heartbeat in a certain direction, but like a lot of people have stated before, Apex has kind of had some issues with their their audio quality and shit like that. Like sometimes you don't hear feet, sometimes you don't hear people running up behind you and all that. So I was kind of worried how that was going to work. But the fact that they also put it on the scope right here, which you guys can see, the little yellow shit is letting you know exactly where that direction of the heartbeat okay. is coming from, as y'all can see. I would only assume more of the little yellow dots is indicating that you're either closer to that person and the farther or the less yellow dots means you're farther away so that's my idea speculations on it here and visualize the heartbeats of enemies within 75 meters okay so 75 meters that's big i thought it was gonna be 80 honestly but 75 is pretty big too seer stalks his enemies like a graceful predator and that's kind of loud too, that Your heartbeat, heart so. must beat with passion to the very end. He can summon micro drones from his heart chamber to him. Okay, summon micro drones. Okay, they, she just said that. So, hit a delayed blast. So everybody was saying it was more like you had to hit this specific person in order for it to work, but it looks like it's just a smaller sphere than his ultimate. And if you're caught in that, then you're going to be affected by it, which I like. 
is it a, is there real skill to that not really but you know it's interrupting and revealing enemies oh okay so again smaller circle and then it condenses itself and then you're hit with it but if you're not caught in that okay gotcha gotcha and it looks like it happens kind of quick so yeah never mind maybe there will be some skill required i do my best work with a captive audience now is the time for fascination and no one can hide from seer's ultimate display when deployed his heart chamber casts a micro drone net over an area do not hide your true colors they are your strength Revealing the location of enemies moving heavily within it. Take comfort. You could not have prepared for me. Like moths to a flame, Seer's grand performance may lead to your demise. But take comfort that your passing will be breathtaking. Your heart cried out for this. Do not blink, legend. You do not want to miss this. Okay, yeah, that shit was lit, and I'm even more excited to see what this nigga talking about when he come out. So, real quick, man, I definitely keep up with this stuff, and I've been seeing all types of comments and people upset because they don't feel like he's needed, and then, you know, he a little, he a little out there with his fits. I'm gonna be real. I'm vibing with the fits. I vibe with it. The nigga look clean as hell, bro. And, uh, but I, I vibe with his fits, his, his abilities. Honestly, I'm going to be real. I do see him replacing crypto. I don't see him replacing bloodhound. I know a lot of people are like, oh, he's going to replace bloodhound. We just got somebody else who can do wall hacks. Essentially he's, he's not needed. Give us something different. I mean, he is going to somewhat do kind of wall hacks but not to the extent in my opinion like bloodhound again everything just keeps saying moving quickly and he'll be able to see people but with bloodhound it doesn't matter if you're moving or not when he scans with his wall hacks or their wall hacks sorry uh they immediately know where you are it doesn't matter if you're sitting still you can't destroy it you can't do anything the second you're scanned that's it also when bloodhound does the beast of the hunt bloodhound essentially gets to see everybody in a highlighted color whatever color you might have it in mine's is blue i know a lot of people's is red but either way that's not what's important but they get to see people who highlight it and then they get their scans back like damn near every two seconds it feels like and then if they continuously get kills it extends the beast of the hunt so again i can see how people are like oh well this nigga's just gonna come in and replace bloodhound or not even some people say that and then some people feel like he wasn't needed like i said he is different in his own way yeah that makes us have now three characters that can scan but until they do something else with crypto there's no reason to have crypto over bloodhound or a seer from the looks of it and especially since seer's tack ability essentially is going to stop people from healing from rezzing and from using their abilities like revenant but it's only for one second it's not like it's going to be like ridiculously long and you're going to have to be sitting there waiting like holy shit i can't do anything so you know what i mean like i like how his attack ability kind of adds so many things together in one so and again with the alt you can destroy it so it's not like you just have to sit there and constantly be like damn he can see my every move no if if you don't put that thing in a good spot just like horizons ult it's just gonna start getting destroyed the longer he's in game people are really gonna start to learn how to play around seer and, and be able to get rid of his ult and it's not gonna seem as useful so you're gonna be have to be creative with it but in my honest opinion so far with everything that they've told us and the way that I'm thinking about Seer being used in the game, I think this is going to be a really good legend and he's going to be extremely strong in the meta. And I mean the ranked meta, because like I stated before, any legend can be played in, in pubs. 
But when we're talking about going into ranked, Sear is going to bring so much to the table that he is going to be a valuable legend. So that's my honest opinion. I think he's dope. I can't wait to get my hands on him and use him and see for myself if he fits my play style. So that's my take on it, man. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch y'all in the next one.